BitVacFactory.com. Hi guys, welcome to another enlightening episode of What Do You Think? Thank you guys for watching our first episode. We really appreciate your support. But before we go into what we have for you guys today, I think I just forgot to introduce Kayodi. Thank you. And Mr. Rain. Exactly. Amen. I forgot. <laughs> I'm just so lucky. I know, right? Uh -huh. All right, so this is Mr. Rain. And this is Kayodi. You know. <laughs> also, yeah. you guys had We're a cool like that. Yeah, yeah, already. You know. And that is the lady. Please, before we continue with their fucking let's <laughs> have a quick break. I want to come back. We'll go right into what we have for you guys today. Peace out. Welcome back to What Do You Think? So today on the show, right, yeah. I a few days ago we woke up to this Gender and Equal Opportunities Bureau. Right? And the thing about gender equality is that for it to be achieved, yeah. right, men and women have to have the same opportunities, the same rights, right, in the society. So what do you think about the bill? Yes, Ray. Uh well, for records, Mr. Ray. This guy. <laughs> it means the red, I mean, this guy. I think we should start having time. This guy. <laughs> <Mr. laughs> <Mr. Ray. laughs> Okay, so what do you think? Yes, okay. uh, uh, basically, I, I don't think that there's anything wrong for women to want to stand up for themselves. Yeah. And I don't think that they, I don't think it's wrong for them to have um, sort of a law to make them stand on the, uh, for themselves. Yeah. But what I think is wrong is women doing everything possible to be equal. I mean, this thing is a, is a, is a, is a matter of common sense. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. okay. Say for instance, now um, I've been citing an example since I saw this, and I'm not, let's not get this wrong. I I can I happen to be a feminist, kind of. I kind of had a feeling I was going to say politically correct. Uh, no, that's my term. <laughs> 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 all right, so I, I fight for the right of ladies. I I did a lot of things to promote female education and all of those things. But concerning this bill, um, a lot of things are, are just not right. I mean, okay. Say for instance, now as a Yoruba boy that I am, well brought up your boy, uh, with all the respect and all that. I find myself in public transport, all right, and then I'm seated, mm -hmm. uh, say for instance, Molway, <laughs> the ones they call the, all these yeah. sushi buses now, mm -hmm. all right, and then there's a pregnant woman who came in and uh, couldn't find a seat and then she's standing. All right, basically, uh, more house will tell me that, okay, as a gentle man, I should stand up for her to sit down, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, but if I feel like not standing up, is my right? I mean, I paid for the seat. You understand? Now you are going to make a law that says that because she's pregnant, I must stand up for her to sit. Now, if I don't stand up for her to sit, I'll pay a fine. I either pay a fine or go to prison. Then I think it's very, very unfair. So on your side, now you're trying to say that you are in support of the bill being struck. No, 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 no. I'm not like I'm in support of the bill being struck. Out. I'm saying that we don't need a bill, so to speak. It's just a lot oh. more awareness, a lot more training on the part of the guys yeah, to tell them. No, I, 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 I'm <laughs> stuck right now because the truth is this. I don't think the bill handles that standing and sitting in a, in a bus. But it's a scenario. Yeah, it's a scenario. But the truth is, it is gender and equal opportunities bill. Why are we stuck at the gender point? There's the equal opportunities part. You know? It talks about age, talks about, uh, you know, gender, of course, yes. eventually. It talks about different things, your ethnic background. Now, do let's be stuck there. Now, where was the gender and equal opportunities bill when Olufemi Ransom Kuti drove the car? I mean, drove a car. I mean, she did not allow that. To stop her exactly. Her. So I think we are getting stuck at this gender part. It is good to have a bill, but let's be honest, there are hundreds of bills that are not even enacted, that are not even, you know, watched and, and, and brought to light. So I am politically correct. Well, okay. Politically correct. <laughs> but let's be honest, we are getting stuck at the wrong point. Well, for me, I would I won't support I won't support you in what you just said because I don't see that bill as women trying or giving opportunities to women and women to be successful because even before the bill or before anything, before gender equality or anything like that, women have been succeeding, right? Okay. Well, the reason why I would support the bill and it being approved is because there are weak people that they're trying to help. It's not just about the successful or being su the, su the successful part of it. It's about the widows, the people that need help, the um, girls that are getting married under, under 18. Those are things that are important. Not I want, I want the five percent job opportunities. Nothing of the sort. I think that we should look beyond the success in it and look at what really matters. 
Now, widows, I'm sorry, very sorry, Mr. Ray. There are a lot of widows out there, especially from some particular tribes. I don't want to mention names now. That if your husband dies when they are young, they start humiliating them, making them go through a lot of things that are not even proper. But that bill is telling you to not allow such things to happen. So even if it's for that widow, that one widow, I think it's more than enough for you to approve that bill. That's what I think personally. And you have a lot of young children out there in Kaduna, in all these house estates that are getting married, that are getting married under 18. I know you're going to tell me that there's a bill against that. But these are women that are coming forward to say, okay, you know, we don't want this anymore. And they're going to fight for it. So why don't we give them an opportunity to fight for it first before we start saying that we want to not... My, my bone of contention is simple. I am not against the bill. Let it be on record. Let it be on record. We are not, we are not against the bill. So what are you trying to say? Well, you are saying that the bill is not needed. No, I'm no, not, no, that's, no, that's not it. Look, okay. okay. If, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. If it has been, if it has been struck out, all right, um, and they are giving them another opportunity to go and re-strategize and then put, put it a bit uh, more proper. Look, generally in Nigeria we are, we are guided and governed by religion and sentiment and culture and a lot of stuff like that. The same way, the same way you will appreciate our culture when you see um, a white guy um, or a white kid calling his father by name. So you find that surprising. Hey, um, Tuna, what's up? Are you doing? Eh? Alpha, <laughs> you know the same way you, you would respect our culture and all of this. Until we we tackle a couple of issues, you know, somebody will grow up believing something, and all of a sudden they just want to change it. It will take a while. It will take it will take some pressure and some persistence. So if someone who stood up in the house says it is anti-Islam, you don't want to blame him. He has he, he lived without talk all his life, and all of a sudden you want to change it. Now, so there are things that we need to tackle first if you want the bill to fly. And also, I think the truth is, it's just like I said, we're focusing on just the gender aspect. Now there is gender, there is disability, and there is age. I mean, it is a multifaceted bill, okay? Yeah. So focusing on just the gender aspect is unfair because there's the age aspect, there is a disability aspect. So how about we just talk about it wholesome? Let's talk about everything. It is, once again, not wrong to have a bill. But let us be honest, okay? The fact that we have uh, a prohibition against stealing in Nigeria and the world at large doesn't mean people don't steal. Okay, so apart from getting a bill up to sort out issues of gender uh, inequality, uh, age inequality, disability, and what have you, let's have a proper way to uh, enact and enforce some of these bills. Okay, and I think the truth is this if the system will cheat you, it will cheat you. So, how about you keep living your life, do your thing, okay? There is no bill against being successful in life. At least I'm sure about that. Is there a bill against that? I think we already cleared that earlier. Exactly. It's not so, about being successful, it's about the weak. That they're trying to achieve. What part of that don't you get in? Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, wait, 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 <laughs> you see, can you see? Can you see? That's say, another issue of gender that, inequality, how? actually. How? Because the a, widow is, with, a widow is regarded as weak, and the widow is not regarded no, as weak. No, because they give them authority, they have power. That's the oh, point. Right. They have control over their things. Now. Yeah. Now, yeah, well, let us be, let <laughs> let us be honest. There can anyway. never, I'm, I'm going to say this okay. now, there can never be equality in the world. But, there will only be equality if my fingers are equal one. If we have the same physiological makeup too. I mean, there are a lot of things that can never be equal, but that doesn't mean we should not try to at least help people that are down short. The people that are not in support of this bill, yeah. are, most of them are basing this on the idea behind the bill, not the bill itself. A lot of people haven't opened the 28 pages. I'm saying 28 pages because I've read it like 20 times. Wow. <laughs> and that's they, the anyway, that's not the point. Yeah. It's like they did not even open the, the, the bill itself. itself. Yeah. To read through to see what's in it okay what's the content of this bill which is something that i think everybody should have done before you make sure. your decision about sure. it so i think that we should talk about the content of the bill right now and speaking of content there's the disability part yeah and there's the age, age part and, and then there's the gender part so just zooming in on gender alone is unfair yeah. okay there's there are other aspects that we need to look into so my opinion is this before you start thinking different things i am not against the bill i want equality in quotes but believe me Regardless, we, we can't exactly have a totally equal society. Okay, well, let, let, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's, 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 let's start this way. One, let's do okay. It. okay, why don't you tell us some of the contents of the bill? Okay, the first one I remember, right, is the okay, organs of the government, public and private corporations, yes. all companies, and all of that, they should give at least a minimum of 35% of their job opportunities, promotions to women. 
which I think is reasonable. Don't you think that's okay? Reasonable? Okay, for, for instance, now uh, you think that we don't have organizations that have as much as forty percent in their, their look. Okay, when I was when I was in school, um, I happened to be a student leader, mm -hmm. right? While I was in school, and um, I remember that we wanted to execute a project, and then we went with the proposal myself and my president, our vice president, to somewhere. And um, you know, the man told us that next time when you're coming to summit, we're coming to a woman. It makes it easier. Sure. All right, so where do you place that? And uh, the guy gave us the advice and told us to go and come back with a woman. He didn't give us the idea. And but that's still different from gender. I think no, so, to what be I'm honest, that's is, sex appeal. No, oh, sorry. no, 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 no. I'm what sorry, I'm that's saying, sex appeal. Okay. Okay. If you go and man, if you go and market something to a guy, and I market it to a guy, believe me, he's gonna buy it from me. All right, okay, you call you call that sex appeal. I just I just call it giving women more an edge, you know. But but whatever the case, whatever the case, um, let it be on record again and again that I want women to be empowered. I want women to achieve the best they can. But I think that you don't need so much bill to you know to enforce this. It's just a matter of common sense. But the only thing that I can I can I can work against or work for is that it's not just the female part. We we'll have like how they say we we'll have the age and uh, disabled people. For for instance, in somewhere in the UK, I saw parking space for disabled only. Yeah. All right, you don't park there for disabled only. That's those are the kind of things that we should encourage. But if you are looking for a bill that you know would just wipe away someone's religious and cultural beliefs over time. Um, I'm sorry, it take a long time to fly. Yeah, that's your really. final thoughts about yeah. that. Hi, what do you think? Okay, I've been staring at the bill. <laughs> I've been going back and forth, but my final thought is this. What's the purpose of a law, a bill, or what, what have you in general? It's meant to be like a standard, okay, the minimum standard for people to actually follow. Okay, so you can actually do better than it, but then when you're, when you're falling short, you know that you actually have a lot of work to do. So one, the bill is good. I'm looking at parts where it talks about widows, and I go through it and I'm like, wow, so people actually perpetrate this. We live in an enlightened world. Some of us have mobile phones, but there are some parts in Nigeria that they don't have all these things and True. different True. things happen. True. So fine, we need the bill, but this bill does not empower you. Yeah. Truth is this, the bill does not empower you. You have to empower yourself and say, okay, I want to make sure that I am top in my class, I want to finish with the first class, I want to step up, go for my interview, and forget that I'm a male or female. So final words is this, women or the female, they make a mistake by trying to be equal to men. Truth is this, you are never equal to a man. You are better. Uh, uh, you are way better. So don't, don't, don't try uh, to uh, women. Uh, 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 no, no, for real, for real. Stop, 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 trying to, stop trying to be the same, okay? I mean, the Troy, the Battle of Troy was fought by a woman. I don't know a man that has caused the fight in court, so you are never equal okay. to a man. Anyway, my final, <laughs> <laughs> so my final thought is everyone should go back and read the bill. So before you make a decision, I'd really like for you to go back, check it, understand what is in it before you decide about it. And we'll put the link on our Instagram page, on Twitter, and on our Facebook page. Thank you. But I'm surprised how, how cool. Um, She's about it, right? I mean, we were like, all I'm fighting. Also, I'm sad there already. <laughs> well, it's okay. You know, but I'm, I'm, I'm just it. trying to be calm. It's like, okay. you know, tearing down the yeah. emotions. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't need a beauty. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us on the thank show so this much. week. And people don't know that we bring it out like every two weeks because people have been calling and texting and like, oh, like, sure. so it's every two weeks. So you guys should check for another episode. Two next weeks, two weeks, like, uh, 14 days. Yeah, like, uh, like from whatever day it comes out. Yeah, right. Like, like that. Then you enjoy me, 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 me,